Eric's murderer was already serving a life sentence for a previous murder. And although a federal jury had no trouble finding this inmate guilty of the murder of Eric Williams, the inmate received no additional punishment to speak of. And that's because one juror out of the 12 refused to vote for the death penalty. The result was because that one juror refused to vote for a death penalty, the judge couldn't impose it. The system appears to lend itself more heavily to the rights and the protection of those who commit the crime as opposed to having too much concern about those who are victims of it. The justice we got because of this sentence was that the man who brutally murdered and mutilated my son now became a hero throughout the entire system because that resonated throughout the entire prison system and he was elevated to quite a high role. It's very clearly understood by the inmates of all of the prisons that if you kill an officer, it's very likely not to result in too much if you're doing life. When it comes to Eric's law, you know, I'm not looking for revenge. You, you, putting down this prisoner, I never from the beginning thought that the, the federal government would ever get to a point of actually executing him. What I wanted them to understand was that there needs to be a fairness. And that's what I'm hoping with this law, that there's some understanding that when, when people that are victims of crimes, victims of murder, walk into a, a courtroom, that at least we have an, a fair shake <laughs> in the trial, that, it, that it's not all bent in, in, in kind of a, a one-directional thing, that victims are considered here as well as the person who uh, committed the crime. And I believe that message needs to get sent loud and clear, because it is an unfair, uneven system. So this isn't about the death penalty as much as it is about a system that's broken and needs to be fixed. USB Caden is one of the most roughest places in the Federal Bureau of Prisons and we have the worst of the worst and we need laws like this as a deterrent to keep us safe.